recently we asked for you to call in your question to our hard question hotline. Take a listen. I'm calling, uh, I have a question here. Somebody who's very dear and close to me is getting married and she's gay and her partner's gay. Now I know as a Christian, you know, we have to love one another because we're made in them like this an image of Christ. My question is this, can I go to her wedding or whatever they call it and um, but not believe in what they're doing because I, I firmly oppose it? That's a tough question. It's one that we're facing more and more in today's society. Pastor Jay. You know, when we were talking a little bit about this. I think one of the a great messages that I'm going to develop very soon is the difference between love and acceptance. Mm -hmm. Because I think we're intertwining those words. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to love one another. So, but when you attend a wedding, in essence, nobody goes to a wedding they don't approve of. Mm -hmm. So you have to ask yourself the question, is my attendance endorsing approval because if it is then I have to look at it there's so many variables to it uh, personally for me I would not and, and I think you, these gentlemen probably hit on that you have to look at the word wedding it's not really a wedding as well uh, biblically speaking that is not a wedding a wedding is one man and one woman but I think we have to really look at that that love and acceptance piece that just because we're called to love somebody does not mean that that means I need to accept them, I need to approve, I need to condone, I need to support, all of those things. Um, there's just some things that you just can't be a part of and you have to be willing to put up with the guff, as one person would say, in order to walk through that. Yeah, that's a very clear perspective on that. Other, other thoughts? Wedding guests historically, and I think um, formally, are actually witnesses to a, mm -hmm. to a proceeding, to a proceeding that has been endorsed by the government. As ministers, we are licensed to wed people. I'm actually licensed in Pennsylvania and Ohio because a couple of my members wanted to get married in Ohio. We, we act as representatives of the state. And when you come to that, you serve as a public witness to an event uh, by definition. Now, as you said, Jay, it's not a wedding. It's not a marriage. I don't care how many people say it is, how many churches say it is, how many governments say it is. In the eyes of God, it's an abomination. It's a sin. The act itself, the wedding itself is sinful. To go to that wedding is to bear false witness. It's to lie. It's to say God is joining two people and he is not joining them. I don't think a Christian can in any way, shape or form go, whether they feel it or not, whether they think they can think of it in another way. I believe that this is a, this is a gross sin. It is a, it is a bearing false witness of a lie. They're not getting married. It's bearing false witness of God. God joins two together in a wedding. God is not joining those two together. Would I cannot say, would do that. Would you say that any different if it was your child? Absolutely. Okay. I would still love my child. I would still call, in fact, I would tell my child, you can't do this. You are actually going to embrace and sort of enshrine in a formal way a sin and you're declaring to the world, I'm going to live in this sin. I would plead with my child for the sake of his soul, but I would not go to the wedding because I'm not, I love my child. That's why I wouldn't go. I love my Good child point. and I'm Good not point. going to endorse them in something that's going to send their soul mm. to hell. Okay. Good, good, good and very clear perspective on that, on this side of the table. And I, I agree. I would never want to bless what God is not blessing. And so I, I, I look at something that is, is all through the scripture to me, very clear regarding homosexuality. And so I don't think I could be a part of that, even if it was my own family member. And uh, I know I've paid the price at times for even not doing a wedding for someone because one of the individuals was an unbeliever. Right. And I just can't do that. People say, oh, you know, he's a good guy. I understand that. But the scripture demands uh, do not be unequally yoked together with an unbeliever. Mm -hmm. Same with gay marriage. I just take that stand. I know this. I, what you compromise to keep, you lose. And I want to stay strong in my convictions.